AI is getting ready to pivot into a new area of social content. It's something that makes sense and can take us into the next generation of social media. It's something that could redefine how people connect, how they create, and how they communicate online, and even death scroll until the wee hours of the morning. What is it? And why is everyone in Silicon Valley suddenly whispering about it? And why might it make TikTok look like yesterday's MySpace? What's up, my geeks? Jeffrey Powers from Geekazine, Think Magazine, put in a geek. Open AI is the main topic of this conversation, but they are not sponsoring this video. All opinions are that of Geekazine, and you can find that all over at geekazine.com forward slash review. You can also support the channel over at patreon.com forward slash geekazine or send a one-time tip to venmo.com forward slash geekazine. Today, we're talking about something that could upend social media as we know it. A project born from the same minds that gave us ChatGPT and Sora, now taking AI in an entirely new direction. But before we start, let's rewind the timeline a little bit of artificial intelligence to get a better understanding of what's going on. Back in 2015, OpenAI was founded with a mission to ensure that artificial general intelligence benefits all of humanity. At that time, AI felt simple and useful, and we were figuring it all out and how it could help our everyday lives. But the amount of data collection was a little bit too much. We really didn't know what to do with it. Trust me, somebody did find a way. Ooh, I found it. Fast forward to 2022, ChatGPT launches. Within five days, it reached 1 million users, making it the fastest growing consumer app in history. By mid-2024, over 180 million people had interacted with ChatGPT at least once a month. That's not just a tool. That's a cultural adoption on a massive scale. And believe me, it's more than just ChatGPT. With other AIs like Gemini and DeepSeek out there, we're finding that the interaction is amazingly powerful. Sam Altman, the CEO of OpenAI, said earlier this year, the future of AI is about amplification, giving everybody a superpower to express, to create, and to build faster than ever before. And we've seen that unfold quickly, but we also know we're still in the wild west of it. First text, then images, then music, then video. I remember in 2018, sitting in a coffee shop, talking to a friend of mine who really wasn't that big an AI technologist. He told me that he had a plan to actually use AI and he had people that were working on it to create music. He was supposed to announce it later that year, but personal issues got in the way. In fact, artificial intelligence is a term that we've been talking about since 1956, when John McCarthy, a computer scientist at Dartmouth College, coined the term. And from there, OpenAI, Gemini, and many others took to the clouds. Things that you could ask, you could have done crazy. Since I started using AI, I've written music with Suno. I've had help writing scripts like this one right here. I've even made graphics and turned myself into action figures. I've turned my videos into shorts and reels and personal assistants that can tell me the time, keep track of things and turn off the lights. Simple things. And this little guy right here. Well, we'll be talking about this in another video next week. So watch for that on Geekazine. But video was one of the things that wasn't perfect. And in all reality, I still get songs with weird mess ups inside, photos with four arms or 20 fingers, and scripts that start talking about electroencephalographic machines. It makes my brain hurt sometimes. Oh. However, within the last year, building videos that looked fairly realistic started to become reality. People's faces being used to do things only a CGI artist could have ever created. Bill Gates said, the development of AI is as fundamental as the creation of the microprocessor, the personal computer, the internet, and the mobile phone. I've been watching my friends play with Sora too, and I've been blown away. Now I've been given the keys to the kingdom to play with this new version of AI, and I have to admit, I love most of the results. But Sora is doing something different when it comes to creating their content. It's something that if anyone sat back and looked at it and thought about it, they would have come up with a very exact similar result. With Hollywood fighting over an AI actor and 
if it could become part of a movie, Sora has really put a wedge in there simply by giving the general public the ability to do the same thing. If I want to put myself in front of the Millennium Falcon, per se, at Disneyland, and then have the Falcon break free and fly away, I just have to put in the right prompt and my image to make that a reality. The AI agent collaborates, multimodal reasoning, merges text and turns it into video, audio, images, and all of a sudden, we have something that we've never created before. But Sora too doesn't stop with it. What they did with it basically ushered in the next generation of social networking. All right, let's talk for a minute here about AE Juice. I am now an affiliate of AE Juice in where I'm taking this content and making my videos better. And you can do the same thing too, from LUTs to sound effects, to transitions, to even AI elements and a lot more. You can bring us whole to a ton of stuff in. You're seeing that as we're going. You can check that out over at geekazine.com forward slash AE juice for the free starter pack. Of course, there's many other packs over at AE juice. You can check that out over there, but geekazine.com forward slash AE juice. Now let's get back into the content. Okay, so we talked about OpenAI, we talked about Sora and creating the videos, uh, me on a roller coaster at Disneyland, or even cutting into the last product I reviewed like it was a piece of cake. And with that, I said it ushered in the next generation of social networking. That is simply AI social media. When you get invited to Sora Tube, they'll give you an app that you can play with. And with that app, you can create your own video, watch the millions of others that make fun apps because Sora Tube is merely a model. It's now a platform and OpenAI just got the network that could possibly rival and topple TikTok. OpenAI's Sora 2 social network is a place where humans and AI agents can post, remix, and collaborate on content together. Here's how it works. You start by putting your cameo in. It's where you say a couple of words and then give Sora your image in a few different angles. You don't have to put in a cameo of yourself in. You can actually use many predefined cameos, cameos of people that give you permission to mix yourself with, or you can just take pictures and cut cake with it if you want to. Once you have that figured out, you just simply type a prompt saying, hey, we'll just use me. We'll go ahead. Geekazine is a musician floating through the rings of Saturn, strumming a plasma guitar. The halo of Saturn, I drift and I play Plasma strings ignite the cosmic day Gravity's gone, but the groove remains Through the dust and ice, I send my refrains You might not like the rings, you might not like one or two things So you, you go back and you make the corrections, you make the edits But then you can choose what you want to do with the draft You want to publish it, you want to download it for others to watch Or even remix Every interaction becomes a part of the living creative loop And if you think about it you're not following somebody's activities in a day anymore. You're following styles, you're following trends, and you're even following fantasies. I have watched tons of new people riding on roller coasters. Heck, I even did that. I watched JFK pull out beers and Dr. Peppers and how to get to the center of a Tootsie Roll Pop. Grandma's shoe hippopotamuses and police and other people away. Mr. Rogers in a wrestling ring rapping, whatever. Albert Einstein rapping and many, many more. Early testers say it feels like scrolling through a dream feed. Every swipe is fresh. Every clip is personalized. One beta tester even leaked online. It's like TikTok made your imagination and it's more than hype. According to internal data, Sora 2 runs on OpenAI's multi-agent engine, connecting tens of thousands of neural creators simultaneously. The system learns not only what you like, but why you like it. That's the leap from an algorithmic feed to an intelligent feed. And it might mean you'll see a little bit too many people cutting into cake or riding the roller coaster after you've done it. But you get past that and you can really get a nice relaxing feed. In fact, they'll even ask you, are you feeling comfortable with this feed? Mark Zuckerberg said recently, AI will define the social graph. Instead of connecting people to people, we'll connect people to ideas and to AIs that understand them. And that's exactly what Sora 2 is doing. Mark Cuban added, the next social platform won't come from Silicon Valley. It'll come from Silicon Intelligence. The cloud. 
And Cuban is all in on Sora. He's making a lot of videos, and especially if you collaborate with him, he gets to promote his Cost Plus Drugs program, which is a great program for low-cost medications. We're seeing a lot of ads coming through here. This is going to be a new wave of ad pitching, not to mention a great way for celebrities to do cameo ads for money. So where does this go next? In the last year and a half, the United States has been fighting with ByteDance about TikTok and, and the data that comes through it. In fact, they said that if we do get a new TikTok, everybody might start at zero again and have to build up. That could be a TikTok killer. Now, this is a brand new social network that could completely topple over TikTok. And I know people say, yo, yo the, the new the new one on the block is going to take over TikTok or whatever. And then they just kind of disappear in the distance. Not Sora too, with the AI ability. I don't think that's going away anytime soon. And of course, the backing with ChatGPT, with Dolly, it's definitely going to be here to stay. Now, if you think about it, we're doing the exact same challenges on Sora 2 that we did on TikTok when it first came out. The only difference is now we don't have to be in front of a camera. We just have to put on a virtual avatar to do the scene. Will some of these older TikTok challenges become new again? Hopefully not the bad ones. Let me know in the comments below what you think. It's not like TikTok or Facebook or Blue Sky or any of the other social networks can't capitalize on this. Once you've created your Sora video, you can post it to the network or you can download it and post it to many other networks, including TikTok, Facebook, LinkedIn, if you wanted to. So if I wanted to play a neon guitar around the rings of Saturn, I can do that with just a few words. Or if I want to cut into the studio to reveal this is all cake here, I can do that too. By the way, the first one I did didn't work of the cutting in the cake and it came with absolutely no audio. I simply hit the edit button and changed the prompt a little and I was able to get back on track with the video. Now, this new social network plays on the idea of swiping right for more content to a new level. If you create a video of yourself on a roller coaster, you compare it with other people doing the same thing. That way, when somebody gets to that one that they can swipe right and watch even more people riding a roller coaster, that could be the death scroll horizontally as opposed to vertically. The introduction of AI social networks like Sora 2 could reshape the digital landscape in three massive ways. First, AI is creator economy of multiplier. Right now, 97% of TikTok videos never break a thousand views. I get a few every now and then. Sora 2 could change that by letting AI co-create content with you, expanding your reach 24 seven production and auto trending analysis. Apps like N2N make what's called AI slop while you sleep. Imagine an AI assistant analyzing what performed on the videos overnight, then posts three new variations of those videos or trends that are happening in real time. And it all happens before you even wake up. Already, AI personas like Little Michaela and Kuki have made millions of followers and their AI. Sora 2 could make AI personalities ubiquitous, a place where your AI twin collaborates, performs, and earns revenue while you sleep. That new commercial that you're seeing, maybe you created it on the iPhone 17. That could easily go viral and you don't even own an iPhone. And with that, it can raise big questions about authenticity and ownership. Who owns the content to your AI? Who signs the brand deals? Who allows this? And who can ask you to take them down? These are the new ethics of AI social life. Third, decentralized creative networks. AI social platforms might not belong to one company forever. We could see a decentralized web of AIs that interact across apps. So your Sora agent is talking to Meta, is talking to YouTube and to other AI hosts. Uh, the social web becomes a mesh of intelligence, not just a list of friends. Bill Gates said AI won't just change how we work, it will change how we connect. The most valuable of communities of the future may not be human only. And that's pretty profound. Maybe a little uncomfortable too. But as OpenAI likes to say, the best way to predict the future is to help build it. I also remember another quote 
fake it until you make it. These guys were showing off their expensive watches is a good example of that, but there is a cost of entry. Unlike Facebook, uh, Blue Sky, Mastodon, and some of the other social networks, you can create and post without a subscription cost. X started bringing paid subscriptions to your plans, but you can still do the basics for free. Now, Sora, there is free tier, don't worry. Uh, there are three tiers of Sora. The first is the free access, which gives you access through the iOS app in the United States and Canada for now. Then there's the ChatGPT route, well, where you have ChatGPT Plus, $20 a month subscription. Gives you limited access to Sora, but it's the ChatGPT Pro account that's at $200 a month that gives you the highest quality version of Sora 2 with more video generations, higher resolution, watermark, free downloads, and more. Crap! Yeah, holy crap. Are you willing to spend $200 a month to possibly make a video that could go viral and possibly make you more money or famous? Let me know in the comments below. So here we are. Standing at the edge of AI social age, we've moved from conversational posts to viral creations, and now connection. The lines between human and machine creativity are blurring, and the results are astonishing. With enough time and patience, I could turn several Sora videos into a feature-length movie-style production. I could create a full ad campaign, not only through Sora, but also using Gemini, using Suno, using ChatGPT, using other AI programs, maybe edit it in Opus Pro and put it out there and have AI even send it out to the masses. And the wildest part is not a single part of the idea that was in that whole campaign was even mine to begin with. I sit back and enjoy the reward. Sora 2 could very well be the moment we look back on and say, you know, that's when social media evolved into something else. As always, there will be a debate, privacy, ownership, bias, and human value. But there's also a tremendous possibility that if we do it right, AI won't replace creators, it will amplify them. And you know I'll be right here on Geekazine testing it all out for you. Probably seeing if my AI version can host a better show than me. Probably can. This week on the podcast, I'm talking about the 30 video cap in Sora. Once you hit number 30, you're cut off. It doesn't matter if you're in the middle of a creative run or testing something new, boom limit reach. Right now, I really wish I had a studio made of cake. I'm kind of hungry. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below over at geekazine.com or youtube.com forward slash geekazine where you can like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification so you know when the next video comes out. By the way, this script was edited from a script created through ChatGPT through prompts that I put together. And I actually did a lot of editing to this. So I'd say this is about a 60-40, 60 on my part, 40 on ChatGPT's part for creating this script. And that's what I mean by amplifying. Until next time, you guys geek out and eat more cake. What's it like being a badger? It's okay. Now stop badgering me. Of course, Geekazine has a whole bunch of merch, including t-shirts and hoodies. Like for instance, the Geekazine logo hoodie. We got some great t-shirts, including 80s Jesus Saved Me, Guardian of the Geekery, the original Geek AI t-shirt. We have a couple variations of this one. And then uh, I like geek butts and I cannot live. There are several more and more that are being added to the uh, Geekazine merch page. So you can check that out over at Teespring. If you're on YouTube, you'll see those links below. And then over at amazon.com forward slash shop forward slash Geekazine. I appreciate that very much because it does support the channel.